John Howard Payne, known as John Payne, was a Hollywood legend who captured the hearts of audiences with his rugged good looks and captivating performances. But behind the bright lights of Tinseltown, there was a painful journey to success. John was born in 1912 in Roanoke, Virginia, to parents George and Ida Payne. John grew up in a family of performers. His father was a singing star on Broadway, and his mother was a vaudeville dancer. John's passion for the arts was evident from an early age, and he soon made a name for himself as a talented singer and actor. In 1936, he left New York for Hollywood. His first role was in Goldwyn's Dodsworth, playing Harry McKee, the son-in-law of Walter Huston's titular character. After serving in World War II, John moved to Hollywood to pursue a career in acting. He quickly found success, starring in several popular films, including Miracle on 34th Street and To the Shores of Tripoli. But it was his role in the film noir classic, The Razor's Edge, that solidified his place in Hollywood history. His first film for the company was El Paso, 1949. His fame grew after this first success. His other roles were in Captain China, 1950, and venture film Tripoli, 1950, set during the Barbary War, and The Eagle and the Hawk, 1950, a western. John signed a contract with Warner Bros and played Don Vincent in Garden of the Moon, 1938. He was in Kid Nightingale, 1939, and Wings of the Navy, 1939. He supported Anne Sheridan at Indianapolis Speedway, 1939. During this time, he returned to Broadway to appear in Abe Lincoln in Illinois, 1938-39. John was unhappy with his Warner Bros. roles and asked for a release. John's most familiar role may be his final film for Fox, that of attorney Fred Gailey in the classic holiday favorite Miracle on 34th Street, 1947, with Natalie Wood, Maureen O'Hara, and Edmund Gwen. It was another box office success. He was meant to make another with O'Hara, Sitting Pretty, 1948. During his journey, he'd faced several setbacks and challenges and got famous through the power of passion. Despite his success on screen, John's personal life was not without struggles. He had several failed marriages and battled an addiction to alcohol and prescription drugs. However, he never lost his passion for the arts and continued to perform well into his 1970s. John Payne's life was a testament to the power of perseverance and hard work. His journey to success was not easy, but he never gave up on his dreams. He once said, Experience is not what happens to you, it's what you do with what happens to you. John died in Malibu, California, of congestive heart failure in 1989. His ashes were scattered into the Pacific Ocean. Undoubtedly, he inspired a generation of performers with his talent and determination, and his positive attitude serves as an inspiration to generations. He ruled over millions of hearts and remained alive in the golden history of Hollywood.